you describe that to the audience? What do you mean zeolite has a cage? It's just as the structure. It's like a lattice um, kind of like if you look it up online, like, you know, deeply under a microscope, kind of like a honeycomb type of. So a lot of binders are just going to be absorbing things, attaching them to their surface. So they've got kind of also will have an, some of them negative charge and they'll just attach these positively charged elements to the surface. Zeolite also does that. So things can attach to the zeolite surface, but it's got this structure that has the minerals in it already that it swaps for. And that's what gives it a more secure bond because it trades it. And then once you've trapped the mercury or whatever it is in that cage, your bot, it's not going to be dropped. Like mm. if it's attached to the surface of other binders or even a zeolite, then it could be dropped because especially if it's um, maybe two, maybe you have a, a zeolite cage that's, you know, a half of a micron, and then it attaches to something that's two microns. So it's, it can hold onto it for a little bit on the surface, but it might drop it because it's too heavy. If something is fitting inside of the cage, it's not going to drop it, but it can still swap it. And that's important to, to recognize. So let's say you take the zeolite, it's got the magnesium, it swaps it for mercury. Great. It's not going to drop the mercury, but what it could do is do another swap. So now it comes across lead. It's going to swap the mercury for the lead because it's more attracted to lead than mercury. And that's where it, we can get into dosing where the dosing is super important because you want to have enough to bind to everything that was grabbed and then dropped. And it's just a whole process. So yeah. the, just in general, that's kind of um, how it works. It just goes in and it swaps. It doesn't just grab it to everything. And then it has a cage where it can securely hold on to toxic elements opposed to just having them attached to the surface, which is just a little bit of a, a less efficient detox. Can I just walk through some common toxicants and we can just talk about the charge because you said it really has an affinity for binding or swapping out a positively charged because Zeo is such a Zeo light is such a negative charge uh, in that propensity. Something like um, I'm just going to list a few. So we've got mercury, we've got lead, we've got mold toxins or like a biotoxin, like a bacteria or something like glyphosate. Yeah. So besides bacteria, so it binds, yeah, mercury binds to lead definitely binds to very strongly mycotoxins binds to, uh, and it was actually used before it was used in humans. It was used in animals to remove the mycotoxins from the food supply and then glyphosate as well. There hasn't been to my knowledge, human studies on removing glyphosate from the body, but there's been studies showing, uh, its ability to remove glyphosate from the water supply. So it has a binding affinity for that bacteria. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's directly binding to any bacteria or mm -hmm. microbes themselves, but it's binding to some of the waste products produced from those microbes. And so that's why in turn, it can help uh, regulate some microbial levels, but I think it's more of an indirect effect because it's definitely not negatively affecting your good uh, bacteria. So Great. that's, that's what we want. So, I mean, I there's, wanna, I want to just, just expand yeah. on that. So, so just for the audience at home, um, and, and I, I, I know this, I know this is my belief system, but not everybody understands this process that the elements that we mentioned, mercury, lead, glyphosate, um, those are all going to compromise the body's inner workings or the immune system or the mitochondria. And then we have the other, we other side, cause a lot of people will say, well, I've got, I've got Lyme. I've got spirochetes, I've got a Lyme bacteria or co-infections. It's my understanding that those co-infections, they're an orga organism, which is off-guessing its own waste. 